Yeah. Right, we're at 43. Anyway, Baker doesn't get an opportunity. Is that, your, is that the waistline or is that your pants yeah. size or that's the no, 50 yards? I'm that today. Baker, left boot comes in. He looks yes. pretty good off the boot. City unlike, are off. Unlikely first goal scorer there. You would have got good odds on good that odds. one. Baker comes in out of Goulet on the right boot into a dangerous area. Head's going to run out. He leaps for it. So is Betson. Down his lamb. He gets on the left boot. Wow. He snaps it around. That's the oh. Tell you what, it's the unusual goal kickers today, Ivan. Ben Lamb. Great With goal. Comes in about 30 metres out from goal. Strikes the ball. Looks pretty good. Goal number two to Terry Golavoka. The first of the day to John O'Goulet. And the Panthers slip out to a seven-point lead. What are you making of this, Gaz? Something's happened? I reckon happened? probably need to change infringement. In a change infringement? Yep. Uh, well, controversy early in the, yep. uh, in the game. Anyway, second semi-final. But anyway, whatever it is. The free kick goes to Jacob Dawes. We'll see if we can find out about that one yeah, in the break. Jacob Dawes. Dawes. It. It's quite costly, whatever Straight it is. Straight back. Straight back at him. It's Jacob gold. Dawes gets his, gets his first and Newcastle City at second for the day. You know, that's not a very good kick, though. And the mark's going to be taken out there by Grendel Short. Kick into Goulet. And Goulet's definitely oh. not 15. He called. Comes on the right boot now. Does it matter? Did no, it, matter. it doesn't. It only, might only went 10, but it doesn't matter because John O'Goulet's turned around and kicked his second. Goes on the right boot. Looks out there in the direction of Courtney Knight. Can he get there? Yes, he can. Wow. Good work. First mark of the day. Courtney Knight, league's leading goal kicker. Takes the mark in front of Jared Flint. Good work. Better build up. Got a good open forward line. Yep. And Courtney Knight now can go back and look to reduce the margin to 16 points. Yeah, first mark of the day at the 18th minute mark of the second quarter is not what Courtney would have expected. As he rolls in, he's going to skip over the 43 metre line there and... Lean back a little bit on, but they're clapping it through already, guys. First goal to Courtney Knight for the day. Runs in, strikes the ball. It yep. looks good. He's having the calling touched. It all clears the call, though. It's a yeah. goal to Goulet. Back of the pack there. Good work by Kirkman. Back it comes to Richardson. And on the left boot, that's going to oh. fall short to Haswell. Plays on quickly. Haswell looks for a target in the square. Courtney Knight, he's got it. run in. There the it is. Coach runs in. And kicks a replying goal for Newcastle City. Smith's at the front of the pack. He goes to ground there and just shovel the back to Baker. Handball the back to Stewart. Back it comes to Josh Wheeler. He's going to line him up. This will be a big lifter for City if it goes through. You it does. it as Josh Wheeler. Wow. Great goal. He is pumped. City are pumped. All of a sudden, they are just lifting, guys. Might be just, oh, no, said no. Look, I'm going back and having a shot. So doors, right boot. It's not going to make the distance. I don't think it's going to sit in the square. High flyers needed. Back it comes in. Up down. Comes down to Gillingham. He's got it. He's got it. Pat Gillingham. Back to back goal. City. Eight point ball game. For Corey Billings. Every kick at goal for Terry Golavoka is important. Oh, mate. They are worth got bars of gold at the moment for Terry Golavoka. Because as you said, they are not going to get many chances. But they are in front. So every one they get. This adds another bit of pressure to City. Swings around on the left. Oh! It looks good. Yeah. Tell you what. Great goal, Corey Billings. Cometh the moment. Cometh the man. Great goal, Corey Billings. And that gives him a couple of goals advantage. Free kick's going to go the way of Billings. They play on quickly through O'Brien. Goulet's down there. So oh. is Polglaze. Wow. He's been good, James Polglaze. Wow. Great work out of the centre again, Corey Billings. They need to make... These count. Pole glaze hits it to look good. He Here does. Go. Both hands in the air. Back to back goals oh, wow. for the Panthers. Wow. Right about, he did, did make the attack on the ball, but James Pole glaze looks in there for head. Can he take the grab? Yes. Tom Head and the terrible evoker crowd have come alive. Oh, yeah, they're loving this. They are loving this. And keep in mind, We've said there's basically their bench is empty. They've got no one now. So these boys on the park are basically going to be running the game out, bar one or two coming, one guy off and on. But they are going to tire. So they need to make the most of these early parts of this last quarter. And Tom Head certainly needs to make the most of this. Head comes in. Missed a few goals. One three's kicked today. Comes in. Don't worry about that, though. There That's two three. Three goals in a space of five minutes for Terry Golovoka. Also in there was um, Pete Van Dam. So they had the experience in there and they just knew how vital it was. But it comes over the back there now. It's not over by a long shot. Mitch Betson shows the commitment there in the back. Free kick goes there. Once again, everything starts yep. going your way. Just a flow and ebb and flow there. Goes short pass in there to Bishop from Pete Van Dam. Bishop too far out to score. 
What are you going to do? Head will be a target. Goes in short to Polglaze on the lead. Oh. James Polglaze takes the mark and he'll go back and line up for goal number three. And he certainly had a fantastic game. Have a look at these leads and marks now that are being made by Terry Gall of Oakland. So you'd have to ask where is the city backline gone because they are leading into open spaces. He's left. Look at this. He's gone short again. They've just all walked away from a man. He's gone in short and found a John, John O'Goulet. Terry Gould Vogue is showing while well, the minor premiers as Goulet coming in, looking to get goal number five. Comes in, strikes the ball. He's got the lean happening. He's got the oh. fist bump happening also. That's a goal to Goulet, goal number five. And Ivan, is it too early to say that's game over? Uh, mate, there's a fat lady over on the other side of the park and she's clearing her throat right now, mate. It's about all over. He, he can does. now and away he goes. Gavin Kirkman and Baker needs to stop it. Good work by Kirkman. Marks in front of Baker and then holds it up. Look at the run and work rate of James Polglaze. He's still going there, but he chips it in short to Richardson. Good play. Good control play by Kirkman. Alistair Richardson played in premierships for Pennant Hills in the AFL Sydney competition, looking to add a grand final appearance. In it goes to Polglaze. Oh. Work rate, a Ivan. That is work rate. That is unbelievable. He must have run 400 metres in the last minute of football. He yeah. made the, delivered the kick from the centre, back of the square, ran past the guy who kicked it too, ran around, then led to the guy who got it off the, the guy before, and now he's going to have a shot for goals. That is just fantastic. And that's... That that is his trademark. It's just his work rate. He comes in now. Can he finish it off with a goal? Both arms up. Grand final time. Terry Golovoka. There it There it goes to the cheer of the Terry Golovoka fans. And it's the final siren has sounded. Terry Golovoka through to their third grand final in a row with a 17-10, 112 to a 12, 10, 82 win on the back of a seven goal to three last quarter.